do hate when you go out and you just want to play your PS5 remotely and you hate using the PS5 official remote play app because it's such a pain and there is some input delay when you're playing and it just doesn't feel natural? Well, don't worry because I got you guys. We got Chiaki on the go. You could play out of the network. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do so. Just follow the steps exactly how I specify and you should have no issues to play Chiaki on the go. So you can play your PS5 no matter where you are, even if you're across the world. So let's start up the Asus ROG Ally here. First, you're going to have to figure out some information from your network. It's going to be really easy. Just go up to on the search bar if you don't have a PC as I show here. And if you want to just pull it from your Asus ROG Ally, just make sure you go to the run command. If it's not showing, just simply type run and it should appear once it does. And just follow the steps that I show you here. Type in CMD, click OK. And I'll bring up the command box and you're gonna type IPCONFIG forward slash all. That's gonna list all the different IP addresses. And where you're gonna go is either if you use Ethernet or Wi-Fi on your PC, go to whichever one you have access to. For this PC, I'm connected to the Ethernet port. And what you're gonna look for is the IPv4 address. Take note of that. Also take note of the subnet mask, 255, 255, take note of that. And also you want to take note of the default gateway. What I usually recommend is either screenshot it or just take a simple photo with your phone in order to remember what those addresses are. Mainly, you will use these three numbers in order to create your static IP, and the last number will be whichever number that you choose to create it with. Let's go to the next step. To set up a static IP for your PlayStation 5, it's really easy. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do so. First thing you have to do is you gotta start up your PS5. Go up to the settings cog up here. Once you get to the settings cog, go to network. And then instead of creating a whole new connection, what we have to do is we're gonna have to go down to settings, set up internet connection. If you're connected via ethernet or Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter which one. Just hit the menu button on your PS5. And when you do, you're gonna to go to advanced settings. Once you go to advanced settings, you're just going to go down to the IPv4 address. So just as we mentioned earlier, when you went to the command prompt, you should see a IP address similar to this. You're going to use the three numbers from the IP address. For example, mine will be 192, 168, 50, and then whichever number that you choose in the back. For example, I pick 200 because it's going to be the most simplest for me. Then down here in subnet mask, it's gonna be exactly the same as you saw on the command. Default gateway should be practically your default IP address for your router. So you're gonna input that in. And then the primary DNS, there are multiple selections where you can pick this from. There are many public DNS numbers that you can receive. This is a well-known Google one, which is 4.4.4.4. And for the secondary DNS, I have 8.8.8.8. .8 Proxy server, you're not going to use one. And the MTU settings will be automatic. And then after you have everything set, just as so, you don't have to touch password or anything. If you're on Ethernet, that's even better. You don't have to mess with it because all you're doing is just adjusting your IP address. Click OK. And what I want you to do is I want you to run a test. It's gonna run a test automatically for you just to make sure everything is working properly and it looks like it is. But if you really just wanna make sure, just go to the connection status and test internet connection just to get an idea if the network is fast enough for you. The most important speed that you will need is not the download speed, but the most important speed that you will use for your PS5 will be the upload speed because that is what is being used when you are streaming. Next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to user and accounts. And when you do, you're gonna go to link services. Personally for me, I like to go to YouTube because that's the easiest way to do it. And hopefully you're not linked. If you are, just disconnect your YouTube account. Just for now, go to YouTube and you're just gonna click link account. 
Once you do, just you see down here, it's gonna say use browser because that's what we're gonna get into because you need one more piece of vital information here. So it's gonna ask you to sign in. Just go down to the help side. When you do, just type in Google search. It's pretty funny. It's kind of a easy workaround to do this. I don't know why PS5 decided to take away the browser, but it was a really nice function to use or take advantage of. And you'll see how to search on Google, like anyone needs help with that. But I'm glad that this is a help topic. So we're gonna go to how to search on Google. Just go down to Google here. And there you go, you already are in the Google search engine. Just type in what is my IP. Now search it. And you're gonna see what is my IP.com or what is my IP address or what is my IP org. Go to whichever one. I'm just gonna go to the top one. And then it should de detect your IPv4 IP. This is gonna be important because we're gonna import this later. Let's go ahead and get into the next steps. First thing you need to do is you're gonna have to look at your ISP depending what it is. Here goes a older modem slash router that I had from Verizon. So if you have Fios, AT&T, Comcast, or you have any ISP, make sure to check on the router slash modem if it is both or just the modem or the router itself. You're gonna want to look on the side of the device because you're gonna need the login credentials in order to get into the network. So for you to be able to go onto this router, for example, you would go to 192.168.1.1, or you go to myfiosgateway.com in order to access the router. Once you do, they provide you with the administrator password and admin is simply admin for Verizon Fios. Now it may differ if you have Comcast because you're gonna go off of the router that you have. My router is gonna be Asus router. Dot com and when I enter it I will type in my uh, name and my password log in and then what you will have to do is you will have to end up going to the port forward section of your router which is the most important part that's where I will enable port forwarding and here are the numbers that you need and remember to set your protocol as both for me you if you if I was to add any more to it I just click add and then I would type in the number, for example, here, PS5 stream. And then I would go ahead and switch the protocol instead of just TCP, I will switch this over to both. And then the external port would be say 988. And then the internal IP will be what your IP address for your PlayStation 5. For mine's it is 192.168 and then whatever numbers it may be. Click OK, and then it will port forward those numbers. So as you see, for these are the numbers that you need to record for your game profile or your port forwarding address. And when you do, make sure to set the protocol on both on all of the ports that I do have listed. And don't forget to hit apply. Once you got your network information that you need, you have your PS5 set up for static IP. We just have to set up Tiaki for it to be ready to go. In order to do so, it's gonna be really simple. Just open up Tiaki like you usually do. You're just gonna hit that plus icon right up there on the top right. Once you do, you're going to put in that IP that we found through the web browser. For example, you're gonna, it's gonna be 73.45 or 73. 150.12.120. It's going to look something like that. And you're going to type that up there as the host. Remember, you just put in the same number that you see from what's my IP in the host side. So it's going to be those four numbers. After you put that in, you don't have to register at first connection. What you will do is you're going to go to the PS5 that you already have registered. And if you don't have your PS5 registered already, make sure to do so 
And if you don't know how, just go to the card right above in order to find out how to connect to Chiaki as I have it up there. Now, once you do, we're gonna test this connection out. We wanna make sure that it is working properly. To do so, do not go to, you're gonna see these two ones. This is gonna be the original one that you set up for the Asus ROG Ally. But we don't wanna to go to that one. We wanna to go to the other one here on the right side, which was set up manually, because we wanna test it to make sure that the address is working properly. So what you're gonna do is hold it down, and when you do, you're gonna click send a wake up packet. Once you send up a wake up packet, give it about two or three seconds, and then you're gonna go into the actual system. So again, you just wanna make sure that it says the address that you input it because we are trying to check that connection and not the local network connection. So we're gonna double click this. Let's see if it works. And it looks like it is working. As we have it working, you can see how smooth it is, working great. And make sure you have it set to gamepad, otherwise it's gonna act kind of crazy. And we could go straight back into the game. Final Fantasy 16 here. And hopefully that you found this content very useful. As you can see, I did try to test it outside the network, but the Starbucks connection wasn't really the greatest as there was a ton of people over there using the Wi-Fi connection. So you wanna make sure you have some decent speed when you are gaming on the Asus ROG Ally, and especially you wanna be on Chiaki on stream. I was only getting about three megabits per second on download speeds, and God knows how slow the upload speeds as it was taking forever to get those readings. But you wanna be on a fast connection so it can work properly. But the good news is you can play Chiaki wherever you go, when you're at a friend's house, or where you get an actual decent Wi-Fi connection. So fam fam guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who wants to hook up Chiaki outside of their network, make sure you share this video with them, especially when I have Rock Ally. If you're not part of the Big Wendell fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Xando right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fam fam guys, if you have any questions at all, don't be scared to ask. Just ask down in the comments down below and let me know what you think of Chiaki on the go. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Miso, signing out.